what's going on? Everything's falling apart. Good afternoon from Friday in Tenerife. I was hoping, let me just show you this, because for the past, almost the past week actually, it's been about the worst weather. Just tap on there. It's been about the worst weather that we've had here, probably about 19, 20 degrees, but overcast most days, loads of wind, but still, I mean, I am getting soft. I class 20 degrees as not amazing, so really I should just shut up and stop complaining. But Monica and I are about to head off to the capital of Tenerife, which is Santa Cruz. Monica's out at the moment, and while she is, I thought it's an opportunity for me to show you one of her outfits, because I get a lot of questions asking, look, if you could recommend some of the gear that Monica actually likes, that would be amazing. So while I'm waiting for Monica, I'll get out I'll get out the gear that I think she'll be wearing today and I'll show you exactly what it is. These are the Pando Moto Kisaki Dine 01 jeans. Lithuanian company Pando Moto. These are not cheap. They're 339 euros, but they are a really, really premium feeling pair of jeans. It often doesn't come up in the video, but the denim on this is completely unbeatable. It, unbeatable beautiful quality it washes very well it stays true to its color they've got really nice sorry about that that's just some of the sand that's blown in from the sahara it's got absolutely everywhere but it's got nice styling features throughout rugged zip on the back just all these great styling details to add to a really quality premium pair of jeans it comes with knee armor and hip armor as standard in a single layer and uh, one of Monica's favorite pairs of jeans, all day comfort, and they really are a pair of jeans for life. And I flipped these inside out so you can see that they genuinely are single layer through and through. So this is the back of the jeans, complete single layer, just with as minimal as possible hip armor pocket there, and on the front, two different adjustment settings for knee armor, but that's it. I mean, that is it. It really is genuinely as single layer a pair of jeans as you can possibly get. And these, these took Monica so, so long to find a nice pair of boots that don't look like biking boots, all day comfort and just stealth looking pair for, for a fair price. And these are them, the former crystal boots. They've got ankle protector on this side, toe protector there, good chunky soles, zip on the inner side, so it's easy to take on and off. Apologies, Monica won't thank me for showing these a bit dirty, but it's because she wears these every time we go out biking. So these, coupled with Panda Moto jeans, it's a great match. And here's Monica in a full outfit, actually. Let's start from the top. Garibaldi Heritage Jacket. I think Monica's had that about a year or so, or maybe even a year and a half. Loves it. Uh, Panda Moto jeans with the former Crystal Boots. All day comfort. Yes, it is. <laughs> Deja vu, riding in England, cold, wet, unexpected showers. We checked Apple forecast for Apple weather and it said no rain at all. It's not, can't even get the weather right on the same day. We were riding along and obviously you can see it from here. It just started pouring as we were getting up to, well, towards the capital. It was about 21 degrees where we were. It was nice and warm and we've left. Oh, and the car's going. 
Seat 127. I love that. In the old cars, you have to lift up the bonnet and actually fill up with the fuel tank in the back. So we're going to wait here, but... It's heavy. And we didn't bring any waterproofs and you can feel the first level of rain. This is, I think, splash proof. And then after 10 minutes of rain, you start feeling it penetrating the jacket through everything. Boots also soaked, dry and wet. So, should we give, should we give it 15 minutes? Yeah. Uh, Monica, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Yeah. Actually, you've got a waterproof jacket. We'll give it 15 minutes, otherwise, we'll just have to turn back because this is unpleasant now, properly unpleasant. Wow, look, I was about to lie then and actually say that I found it. I didn't find this. Monica has just found this, which is a four minute drive away. Route 66 Motor Center. Oh my God, we're going straight there now, six minutes away. Also, just before we head off, for any Brits or any other people watching this and thinking Tenerife is always sunshine, it is amazing weather here, but it's also great to see a fairly depressing looking industrial estate with a lot of rain, just to make you feel a bit better. Does that help? going to be one of those days I don't know if this is closed down or not those signs make it look like this is actually shut down but <sighs> borderline angry now cold wet miserable I don't think we're gonna have don't think we're gonna have any luck finding somewhere to stay and that is the south to give you an idea of the difference the only bit of hope we've got there is the blue sky and it's just getting worse and worse so we're going to head off now like this is this is really unpleasant we'll see if we can find a nice cafe that way but definitely now no messing about we're heading back to the south This is actually, oh God, it's honestly, I'm cold, jacket, completely soaked through. And this is, honestly, this is the best demonstration of what Tenerife's like. If you're looking at Tenerife and you, you, know, you don't know where to book, you've got to book in the south if you want that guaranteed weather. That's why the rental prices are pr pretty much double everywhere else in that absolute southern bit of the island because it's about 13 minutes away. That way on the motorway, pouring, pouring torrential rain and now it's glorious sunshine and I need suntan lotion. It's just the way it is here. So we're going to Arico, 
Is that right? Oh, uh, uh, it's called Samello. I think this town's called, oh, Abadas, Abadas, that's it. This is Abadas. You may recognize that from a previous video, the city of the damned. That is the village of the leper colony, which was never used and abandoned. Uh, that was from a previous video. Samello meant to be one of the best vegetarian or vegan restaurants on the island. And it feels so nice to be in the sun again. Um, can I show something quickly, just before we go in? I know it closes in about 40 minutes, but look at this. So instead of always taking a chain to lock my helmet, I've discovered something. Okay, disc lock. Cool, my disc lock's broken. That needs some WD-40. Okay, I'll show you that another time. Cut that out, Monica. Yep, everything's breaking today. Absolutely nothing's working, even the disc lock. So, I was gonna show you something really cool. Never mind. Shall I say what I was gonna do? Okay, right. Disc lock, put it through here. Oh, and the seat's also coming off. Great, all the screws have, the screws have all just come off the seat. What, what's going on? Everything's falling apart. If that wasn't there, Monica just would have flown off the back on the motorway. So dangerous, risking our lives here. Okay, right, what I was gonna show you, I mean, this is ridiculous. So I was going to show you, put this through here and then you clip, you clip this through there and that locks, the helmet and imagine how lucky you'd feel if you're a thief helmet locked onto here you just pick this off and you head off with everything you've got 400 pound seat in the helmet i can't remember if i said outside but this does have a reputation for being one of the best vegan restaurants in tenerife uh, we haven't been here once in the past four months. We came here six years ago, but honestly, we completely forgot the name of the place. We forgot where it was, we forgot everything about it, and we couldn't find it on Google. And Monica somehow had a brainwave about a week ago and just suddenly remembered exactly where the place was and the name. So we found them on Instagram, and it's the first time we've been back. They're only open on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And the reason they're only open on those three days is because for the two or three days prior to that, so on, for example, Wednesday, and Thursday, they're actually here hand making everything ready for those three days of service. So the bread, the pasta, all of the menus and everything. You don't get a menu at your table. They're actually there speaking the menu to you for, for that specific week. So it's always different, I think. So they'll actually tell you what the menu is and then you pick from what they physical, from what they verbally say. It's a really nice kind of authentic, yeah, handmade, just vibe about it. Like everything looks brilliant. In fact, this, very, very special, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So what's that? Um, asparagus with something. Mm -hmm. Some kind of something. Frittata? Frittata. Oh, vegan cheese with tomato. I think that's pumpkin soup. Handmade breads. And I almost completely forgot to say, you've got to reserve because we came here on the hop, so lucky to get a table. They said usually there wouldn't be any spaces, but there was one table inside for us. So, so lucky, definitely, definitely book if you want to come here. That was so good. I massively, or we massively recommend it. Samello, book it before you come. It's, it's actually worth coming to about us just for that. And about us in general, we're really impressed with it. It's not somewhere we've really considered coming too much before. Lovely Mark One Golf. I just had to get in there. Mark One Golf convertible. Oh, I love those. And this looks like a spot for people who, I, I don't know, I guess, like camp out for the winter months here, like just all the way along here, camper vans. I love that one. That's brilliant, that Mercedes, isn't it? 
saw a French one just here, but a huge row all the way along there. It's a great little spot and a few over here as well. Look at this orange caravan right here. I love these. You get a few spots in Tenerife where it's a nice open space with a good view of the sea and you get all of the camper vans parked up and you get them obviously a huge amount of Germans everywhere in Tenerife but then you get the likes of the French, some Dutch, Austrians, a few Brits but it doesn't look like the Brits are as big into these camper vans as some of the other Europeans actually. You don't see many British ones but the Germans, Austrians and Dutch they love them. French as well, yeah, yeah. But this is the best, isn't it? This Mercedes. And I think a lot of the time, the people who have these are surfers and they literally do spend the whole winter here. We've seen a few people just dotted around and we've noticed that the, the camper vans have been here for months. So they'll just spend the month here. It's a great lifestyle. Jump up in the morning onto the surfboard. Well, that person there in the old VW camper has a proper frontline view. I get the appeal of that. Almost nothing ended up going to plan today. It's about 4.30 in the evening, Friday evening, and I think it should end up being quite a nice evening over in Santa Cruz. I think that looks like the end of the clouds and the end of the storms, but what an, I just love this. Friday evening or Friday late afternoon, by the sea, sun shining. It's just a great, great way to spend the end of the week, but I need to go back, get out of these soaking wet jeans, grab a run yell, just have a lovely Friday. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming along with us on today's episode. Please do give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one.